this video segment, we're going to change the hydraulic fluid in our touch on my system on our 1954 John Deere 40. Now, I want to walk you through it step by step. And if you have not seen the video on servicing it, you can actually see that and you'll see what I actually added hydraulic fluid to it. But in this video, we're actually going to change it. And this system needs to be changed every 60 hours according to the manual. If you're not a subscriber, just hit that button, become a subscriber right away. So let's begin. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to remove our attachment. So next what we have, we have a plug right here. And this is where we're going to drain it out. And that's our filler plug to let us know that we are actually full. So you need a level 16. And you want to have a drain bucket nearby. And you're gonna use, we're gonna use four and a half quarts of hydraulic fluid to go back in here. Let's put that there. Hopefully it don't tip over. If it do, I have a mess to clean up. Just gonna let that drain. So this is what our fluid looks like. Now, I want to cover some things here. There are several fluids that can actually go into this system. Now, I just want to point out in the manual here, when you look at the crankcase, it says you can use 20 or in the winter, you can use 10W. Now, you see my video on replacing the uh, servicing the air cleaner and it says here, you use the same as the crankcase, as you can see. Now, when I come down to what we're doing now, it's got 10W, the same as the crankcase. Now, John Deere told me that it's okay to use this, and, and I do have some, but I'm not gonna use that. So needless to say, whatever is in the crankcase, which is engine oil, can be used in here. And I'm not gonna use, I have 15W40 in my crankcase, I'm not gonna use 15W40 in here. So I'm gonna use 30 weight non-detergent. So I'm actually gonna put 30 weight back in here, non-detergent, 30 weight non-detergent. Because if I put 30 weight detergent in here, what it would do is foam up all inside the system and you do not want that. So I'm gonna use non-detergent and keep in mind, according to that manual, you just saw that engine oil was actually in here. They recommend engine oil in here, the same as the engine oil that's inside of the crankcase. Now the crankcase, I have 15W40 Rotella. Uh, I do not wanna put Rotella in here. Uh, I wanna put 30 weight, non-detergent. Now, if you have a tractor that when you work it for a while and your hydraulics, uh, the hotter that it get, the weaker it gets and it don't lift up like it should when, it, when it's cold, 30 weight non-detergent can help you with that problem. It can actually have your hydraulic to last out in the field much longer than regular hydraulic fluid. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put the plug back in here. I'm gonna put some thread tape on it. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna put a little thread tape and just turn it clockwise. It wasn't leaking, but just don't mind putting a little bit on there. All right. Again, it is recommended that you change this, this fluid every 60 hours. 
Next, what I'm gonna do is just lift up on my seat. There's our cap. Let's pull right up on it. And we need four and a half quarts of oil. We have a pit cup right back here. And some of you already know it because uh, you have seen my video of me topping off the system with hydraulic fluid. And John Deere said that there's nothing wrong with topping it off with hydraulic fluid or having hydraulic fluid in the system. I just decided to go another avenue and you need to have this open because once you put your four and a half quarts here, you have fluid to come out here. And once you see fluid come out of here, you just tighten it back and you're good to go. Let me just put our foam right here. And this is the, the oil that I'm gonna be using. And it's 30 weight, non-detergent. You wanna make sure that it's non-detergent because anything other than that is just gonna foam up inside of your, your system and you do not want that. And again, we need four quarts, four and a half quarts. We are on our third quart. I just put three quarts in already. As you can see. Well, that's gonna be all I'm gonna put in. It calls for four and a half. All I can put in is three. That's fine, I'm just tightening this up. And I'm just gonna put my cap back on. Just make sure you wipe off all your, your fluids. It's telling me it's full. And I'm good to go. Well, I hope this video was helpful. There are several ways that you can actually go back, go about servicing this system. Now you know, you just take your pick on which one you're ready to go with. And Either way, you can't go wrong. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to hit the notification bell to let you know when I have a video to come out. Take care and God bless.